We are going to see the Mega Man. Um, looks like got Mega Man. Another uh, Pyromithra. I mean, not just any Pyromithra. It is Sensei. Sensei has been working on this character a lot. Huge fan. Huge Xenoblade fan. One, and on a mission to be really good with this character. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, this is a pretty good litmus, uh, excuse me, litmus test with G uh, JRX. He is a good player. Fundamentally sound. I know JRX isn't playing a whole ton of Wi-Fi or much. You know, beyond the casual level of things, but still good. Still knows what's going on. It looks like uh, a little bit of mix with Mega Man. We've got really good Mega Man gameplay last week with Maverick Hunter, and that was pretty good, man. That was another uh, case of the haven't seen you in forever, and then comes out and plays really well. So, see if Lightning strikes twice for Mega Man. Sensei, though, on the other hand, has been grinding that Wi-Fi, and looks pretty good right now, so... A little bit of a delayed reaction. A little bit ill-advised, too. That up tilt would not have killed, but... I, mean, I do love up tilt myself. In that particular situation, I think you gotta take the damage with up smash, but... Sensei, yeah, more than content to try and keep a little bit of space and just throw out some of the moves that kill. Which is a lot of them. Make a man with a flame sword of his own. See, up tilt would have definitely killed right there. That would have been that would have been good. And I respect trying to get up with a dash attack. That almost was not good though. Does land the hard knuckle. Just barely, too, right on the tip of it, Sensei. Uh, return the favor almost immediately. Yeah, so I would imagine a big problem with this particular matchup is the same thing Mega Man has with a lot of people. I mean, we haven't really seen Sensei find a whole ton of conversions with Mithra, but he's also a pretty pyra heavy uh, Pythra. Or how, again, however we're saying the joint name here. Good thinking coming out from JRX. That is something that does work, uh, mixing up the jumps and then throwing out a hard knuckle at the end. The only thing is, is like, if you're playing Pyra Mithra, you're probably not fading away. To oh, wow. It hits. And it kills, too. Mega Man's pretty heavy, but that move is very strong. So, okay. As I was saying, uh, yeah. You're going to want to almost defend a little bit higher against Pyramithra just because they have, like, not the best recovery in the world. So you'd almost just kind of expect them to sort of come down in, in less predictable fashions, almost trying to mix up their jumps, like... A lot of them are going to avoid going low, especially against Mega Man, because there's just so much Mega Man can throw down there. Friday Night Funkin'. <gasps> My theme song. Good reaction on that back air. Didn't re didn't let the uh, the active hitboxes come out from whatever that move is called, where she spins. It's called rotational pull. Oh, okay. Rotation. Okay, yeah. I made that up. I know. <laughs> so here comes the... You're like, the... You're like, you thought I believed you're gone. You know I'm smarter than that. <laughs> so this is the Mithra coming out. I actually think Sensei doesn't use as much Mithra, mostly just because he's a personal, personally a fan of Pyro. Flame Nova. Thanks, Ubu. As always, man. Yo, okay, yeah, that up air would have been pretty cool. Wouldn't have killed or done anything, it just would have looked kind of nice. Hanging in there, nah. Okay, that's it. That move wow. is... It's funny, you'll, you'll hear a lot of Pyramithras tell you how that move doesn't kill and, it, and it's not good or whatever. And it's not the most amazing move. And I know it has, like, all the vulnerabilities there. But, like, it, it does stuff like that, too, which is pretty good. It just does stuff like. You just, well, could you just throw it out there all willy nilly sometimes, you know? Because you just throw it out there and we, 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 we. <laughs> Cons. Uh, What'd you get for dinner? Uh, Noki and tomatoes. Oh, nice. That sounds good. Mm hmm. It was very good. Yoshi? That's what you said, right? Yeah, Yoshi. 
You say Yoshi and fried bananas. Dude. Dude. I love Rayman too. That's good, man. I'm happy. I'm happy you have that. <laughs> I'm happy Rayman 2 is in your life folder. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy for you. Okay, so... No platforms. Heading off the final destination. And I actually don't know who this really benefits. I feel like Mega Man sort of likes no platforms in a way, but like... Also gets used out of platforms. The only thing is, is Mega Man's moves are so linear, where it's kind of good if you don't have a lot of like maneuverability around them, you know? The only thing he throws on angles is Metal Blade. Everything else comes out either straight up or straight forward. Or down. Or down. Or down. Yeah. This song's a banger. It is really good. I actually like it on this dude. Ooh, uh, that that could have turned into a back air. I think if, G, uh, if Jerex was a little bit more confident that he was going to land that, he could have definitely just anticipated and jumped up with a back air. Because uh, that crash bomb was really aggressive on the ledge because kind of risked just getting aerialed. Oh, no, that was up tilt. <laughs> Probably wasn't expecting it to parry. Look at Perry taken out with a uh, dueling flame sword. Yeah, definitely not going to kill. I mean, she's pretty. <laughs> Mithra is pretty weak, and Mega Man is pretty heavy, so. I don't even think that would have killed, is what's crazy, despite being at 182. Maybe. Um, but the fact that it would be close is what's crazy. Would you hang out with Mega Man? Absolutely. He's a virtuistic he robot. He's just, like, good. You think he can talk? Oh, wait, he talks. I forgot. He does talk, yeah. He's like, it's over, Wily. Die. Yo, that was hype. That was good. Just caught him on the last little bit of the Metal Blade hit, on the, like, right before it touched the stage, and then was able to get the up air. Do you I... remember that, though? Yeah, of course. Okay. That is the most, like, weird thing. <laughs> yeah. Junior's like, oh, why is Don eating during my set? <laughs> I need her gone talking about Friday Night Vulcan. Right. Derex has taken a lot of like interesting approaches back to stage, but I kind of like them. It looks like he could sort of get called out on any of them at any given time, but he's mixed them up enough where I feel like it, it, it works. You're like, he's doing a lot of things. I don't like any of them. <laughs> back there, even things up. Good old reliable for Mega Man. Most characters, really, right? I mean, back is are probably collectively the best move in the game. Back. Yeah, Derek's play is really aggressive. Um, I like a lot of the options he go, uh, goes for, but... He's unfortunately gets made to pay with some of like Mithra's frame data and everything else, and such is the life. Oh my god! Such is the life is mega. Uh, such is the main, main, main. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Crossing himself up with the crash bomb. Oh god, that's death! I can't Why? believe that kills. That is crazy. But you know what? One of those two O's, but close though. Good set. Either way. I got TO'd, or 2-0'd, but it was close. And 2 0 but it's close, though. Yeah, that's a tough move to deal with. <sighs> Pyra Bear, dude. Because, like, that, that was, like, I think, like, the last little bit of it, too. And then it just sort of, like, made Mega Man float up, which is insane, because Mega Man is heavy. I know Jerex is definitely a little bit up there in percent, but I guess it was just, like, probably wasn't expecting to die, so it was probably just DIing that way. <laughs> 